Let's me out, huh? Hey, are you a fan of good old Agatha Christie novels? Or are modern works with elements of thriller more to your liking? It's time to test yourself. We're all familiar with typical IQ tests that rate your intelligence level after you've answered 40 standardized questions. But there are some other ways to find out what your inner genius can do. We found several riddles that only a few people can figure out. Do you feel brave enough to crack them? Then go ahead and test your detective skills with these riddles. After each riddle, you'll be given 15 seconds to find the answer. Here we go, number 7, jailbreak. Jack is placed in a cell with a dirt floor and only one window positioned so high no one could reach it. The cell is empty except for a shovel. It's hot and dry there, but Jack won't get any food or drink anytime soon. He has only two days to break out of the jail. If not, he'll die. We know what you have immediately thought, but no, digging a tunnel is not an option as it will take more than two days. So. How should Jack escape the cell? What's your guess? Don't forget, you can pause the video to have more time to think. All set? Here's the answer. Well, the way out for Jack turned out to be a piece of cake. He had to use the shovel to make a pile of dirt under the window, climb on it, and escape from the cell. Seriously, who secures prisoners this way? Alright, number 6. A stolen necklace. Mrs. Smith went to the police claiming that her vintage necklace was missing. The woman was upset. When the police arrived, they saw no signs of a break-in. No messed up locks, no misplaced doors. Only one window was broken. There was a total mess inside the house and dirty footprints all over the floor. Surprisingly, the next day, Mrs. Smith was arrested for fraud. Why? Are you ready there? 5 seconds left. Here's the answer. The police were sure that Mrs. Smith lied to them because the window was broken from the inside. If it had been broken from the outside, little pieces of glass would have been on the room's floor. Number 5. Murder at school. On the first day of the school year, a geography teacher was murdered. The police had as many as four suspects. They were the gardener, the math teacher, the coach, and even the school principal. Yeah, I vote for the principal. Now the sticking point was that they all had alibis. The gardener was cutting bushes, the math teacher was holding a mid-year test, the coach was playing basketball, the principal was in the office. Despite this, the killer was arrested immediately. Can you guess who killed the geography teacher and how the police solved the mystery? You have 15 seconds to find the killer. The killer was the math teacher. According to his own words, he was holding a mid-year test. But the crime happened on the first day of the school year. He needs to learn how to lie better, don't you think? Number 4. A lonely man A lonely old man lived in his house in the suburbs of a city. He led a quiet life. Perhaps he was a homebody, as he never left his dwelling for long. It was a midsummer Friday when the mailman walked by and called out for the man. There was no answer coming from inside the house. The mailman looked into the window and, oh no, saw the man in a pool of blood. When the policeman arrived, he found Tuesday's newspaper, two bottles of warm milk, and one bottle of cold milk. The next day, the killer was arrested. Do you know how the police found out who it was so quickly? What is your idea? Five seconds remaining. Can you see the answer? 
It was obviously the mailman. He knew that no one in that house would read a newspaper on Wednesday or Thursday. That's why he came only on Friday. Number 3. Two Pills A serial killer had a particular practice going. He kidnapped people and made them take one of two pills. One was harmless, the other was poisonous. Whichever pill a victim took, the serial killer took the other one. Then the scheme repeated itself continuously. Victims took their pills with water and died. The killer repeatedly survived. How did he always get the harmless pill? Good luck! Your time has started. Here's the answer. The serial killer was tricking people. The poison was in the glass of water his victims drank, not in the pill. Oh, that stinks. So unfair. Anyway, number 2. Frozen windows Once, on a cold winter day, a tragedy happened. John found his friend dead in his own house. John called the police and said he was just passing by Jack's house when he decided to drop by to see him. He had been knocking and ringing the bell for a long time. However, all was silent. Perhaps Jack wasn't at home. But John could very well see the light in the room through a frozen window. He breathed on the ice window glass and saw Jack on the floor. Unexpectedly for John, the police arrested him as the main suspect. Why? 15 seconds to go. Only 5 seconds left. Obviously. John hasn't thought his legend through. He wouldn't be able to unfreeze the window glass because it's usually icy on the inside. And finally, number one, chemical substances. A famous chemist was murdered in his lab. There was no evidence found except for a piece of paper with the names of chemical substances on it. On the day he was murdered, the chemist had only three visitors, his wife Mary, his nephew Nicholas, and his friend Jonathan. The police arrested the murderer right away. How did they know who it was? A little hint. Play closer attention to the note. The answer is hidden in the note. This piece of paper had a clue. If you combine the short names of the chemical substances on the paper, you'll get a name. N-I-C-O-L-A-S. Even dying, this man remained a real chemist. Speaking of chemists, here's one for you. Johnny was a chemist's son, but Johnny is no more. For what he thought was H2O was H2SO4 which is, of course, sulfuric acid. Oops. Well, did you manage to solve these detective riddles? Did you? Wow, if so, don't forget to hit like and share this video with your friends. If we get at least 40,000 likes for this video, we will show you some hard-to-solve riddles that will really blow your mind. Wait for them!